Hi, my name is Rob Yandrick. I'm the product manager of vibratory and screening here at Erie's. Today, we're going to demonstrate how to properly read displacement stickers on all Erie's vibratory equipment. A vibratory feeder with a factory installed tray is properly tuned at the factory before shipment. However, at times it is necessary for the displacement of your feeder or conveyor to be measured on site. Too much or too little displacement can signal problems. Instructions on reading displacement stickers are included with the installation, operation, and maintenance manual supplied with your equipment. Here we have several Erie's feeders. We're going to review how to read displacement stickers on electromagnetic and electromechanical feeders and conveyors. There are two types of displacement stickers. One utilizes a V-gauge and the other a circle. The placement of the gauge is critical for accurate measurement. The displacement sticker should be positioned at the rear of the tray above the feeder or conveyor drive. The V-gauge must be positioned perpendicular to the drive line of the feeder or the drive angle while being parallel to the spring angle. Circle style gauges are used on higher displacement units. The placement of these gauges should also be above the feeder drive or conveyor base. The circle gauge is read while the equipment is operating. By looking at the optical illusion in which the printed circles appear as double, read the deflection where a pair of circles just touch each other. With the feeder in operation, the rapid vibration will cause the V gauge to appear as an X. The displacement can be read where the lines cross. Here our 48A feeder is operating at 60 thousandths of an inch. Be sure your feeder is at full voltage. The maximum displacement of your Erie's feeder or conveyor is indicated on the nameplate. To learn more about Erie's vibratory equipment and maintenance, visit our website at www.eries.com or give us a call at 800-345-4946.